Okay, hey everyone, we're back. Um, we're still talking about designing um, your business plan for social impact, right? So with, today we're gonna be talking about social ventures, strategies for social impact, social impact strategies. So that is going to be um, interesting because last time we talked about um, being a change agent and then now we're gonna be talking about social ventures and the impact that you can create. And if you listen to the last one, and if you haven't, please go listen to it because it'll make this one even more, the transition to this video even better. Um, but how the social, what are some strategies that people who are in the social impact industry can utilize to actually create impact within their communities? So if this is your first time watching us, my name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of TVA Consulting Group, where we help um, social impact businesses design, build, and fund their businesses. Hi, y'all. I am Ty Boone. I'm owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I help nonprofit organizations mostly move from, from start and struggle to sustainability and success, usually without the traditional headache and hassle. But, you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's a headache, right? Sometimes, I'm just going to tell you the truth. Sometimes it's a headache. Sometimes it's a hassle. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in, in our last talk, Tracy, we ended with solutions, right? Right. And, 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 and this is about strategies. So there can't be any real solutions without a strategy to help us to get there. So, you know, in this social impact, you know, mission of ours, mm -hmm. we're here to produce strategies that bring forth a change. And that change is, is in, eventually is a solution to a problem. Mm -hmm. And we're solving the problem. And I know people come to us all the time, Tom Tracy, want money. Want <laughs> to have funds, right? Yeah. And we go, what impact do you make? What problem do you solve? Mm -hmm. How you and like, I don't know, right? I don't know what I do. But if you are solving a problem, you have a solution to a problem, and you have a, a really solid strategy to get there, you're going to attract the funds that you need to get this done, right? Yes. Strategy is the part that we don't like to, we, we like to discuss it, but we don't like to implement it. Right. right. We like to talk about it, but the strategy. I think, I, not to interrupt you, but I think what it is, is that people like to set goals. Mm -hmm. Right. And for whatever reason, I, I find that a lot of people think that goals are strategies. Mm -hmm. Goals are not strategies. <laughs> how to in here, right? We got right. what? But we don't have how to like how we're going we got where we're going so we know where we're going but we don't have a gps like how right. do we how do we get there in that strategy the gps says turn right next light whatever you that, that kind of stuff and, and now i know where i'm having to go but i have no clue without mm -hmm. the staff, without the strategy to get there so when you're talking about changing in a community being a change agent for your state or your community your country whatever it doesn't just happen. Right. So there has to be a process. And then you have to know, well, what kind of, first of all, what at what level of change do I want to affect? Like what, right. am I, what am I trying to do? Is it something that I just want to do on my streets? Is it something that I need to do, you know, in my city? Like, what, what yes. does that look like? And you said in the last um, um, session, Tracy, when you're talking about, you know, going outside of your community, if you need something to be done on a community level, you got to have community support. Yes, right? you do. What mm -hmm. kind of you put in place to do that? So what do I do first? Do I need to identify community members? Do I need to adopt a community impact model or something so that mm -hmm. I can get this done so I can know where the resources are in the community and I can reach out appropriately to get these people to help me? How do I reach out? Who reaches out? Right? What What are we going to do? Right. Right. And a, an example of everything that just Ty just said. Let's say we want to tackle homelessness because you notice that you're going down the street. Like I was talking to someone on the, the phone last night in New York, actually. And she was like, oh, no. I was like, what's what's wrong? She was like, I'm seeing new homeless people out here. I don't mind the old ones who've been here for a long time. But when I see new ones, I start getting nervous. I don't, it made me laugh. I was like, that is the weirdest thing to say. She was like, no, the old ones, you know what they're capable of. New ones, you're like, oh, boy, what's going on, right? So anyways. So let's say we want to tackle homelessness. So like she identified that there's a problem, right? She identified the problem. We have a homelessness situation on this block. There's a lot of homeless people here. She comes up with a goal, right? 
The goal is to get them off the street. Oh, that's great. Oh, how are you going to do that, right? You got to come up with some strategies for doing it, right? So how are we going to do that? So we're going to do some outreach, right? That's a strategy. Find out who these people are, probably get some um, demographic information from them and find out exactly why they're on the street. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, some people choose mm -hmm. to be on the street. Mm -hmm. It's a choice for some people. For whatever reason, that's their choice. But fi figuring out first why people are on the street is going to be your first step because that will decide how you're going to navigate, how you're going to solve the problem, what strategies you're going to, you're going to implore after that to solve the problem. So the first step, the first strategy is going out and doing some um some intake, right? Figuring out why these people are there. So if you have mental health people, like you talk about who you're going to bring with you. So when Ty talked about who you're going to bring with you, if you find that some of them have mental health issues, some of them, they were terminated from their jobs. Others, um, I don't know, running away from domestic violence situations. I don't know, right? But let's say don't use those three. Then you know that you need to find someone who um, can help you with the mental health issues. You need to partner with another organization that can help you with mental health issues. Then you need to partner with another organization who can do job development skills. And then you need to partner with another organization who can help with um, people who you know, have been um, battered, right? Um, so that may include some mental health. It may include some emergency housing. It may include a lot of different things. But then when you get to all of that, then the bigger thing is how still you get them the help, that first stage of help, but then how do you get them into permanent housing? That's another strategy and another set of people that you have to bring into the fold. And I think that's where a lot of social impact businesses go wrong is that they don't realize it's a layered system, right? It's not just one strategy. Oh, we're going to get them off the, 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 um, the street. No, the strategies go in stages, stage one. You know, like this is the first set of goals that we're going to deal with. And those strategies come under it, those tactics come under it. And then you have your second goal, you have your objectives, and then you have your tactics. And it goes on that way. It's layered. It goes in stages. You can't go from A to Z. You got a lot of letters in between. What is it? 24 letters in between A and Z. And you got to go through all the letters in order to get to Z. So we're talking about impact, social um, impact strategies or social venture strategies. That is what I really want people to think about. Everything that Ty says, I just gave you an example of what it looks like, you know? So. And I, I love that. And you said, you know, that there you have A to Z. And I think a lot of times we get overwhelmed because we're thinking about, I'm going to start it. I'm, you're thinking about Z before you go to B, C, D, E, whatever. And a lot of that leaves us stagnant a lot of times. We're like, okay, well, I, I want to get people, I want to get homes people off the street. And I'm only looking at this goal. And because I have not processed and broken this down into little pieces and every letter, it looks like it's an impossible thing to do. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to do because all I'm seeing is that end thing, getting people off the street, but there's no in between. So once you break it down, like you said, Tracy, well, let's break this down into phases where we go well, phase one. Let's do let's go out and see who's out here. Phase two. Mm -hmm. let's, and when you do that and you, and you break it off into little bitty chunks, you're able to accomplish goals one at a time. So you have your process goals and your impact. You're able to do this as you go. So you're making you're making little accomplishments and achievements as you go. So now you feel happy because you get to award reward yourself and you're like, oh, and you can you get the momentum to move forward when you start to break it up instead of looking far, far ahead. And I, I talk about there's a lot, Tracy, when people are looking for grant money, right? Mm -hmm. And they're saying, oh. Well, our, our goal is to, to have housing for the homeless. I'm like, well, first of all, you just got your determination today. So we're and you don't have a house. So so what so what you, so what are you going to do to work your way up to getting people off, you know, getting people into these houses if you don't even have a house yet? So that does that mean that you're supposed to stay here and not do any work, you know, and, and, and nothing happens until you get the house? No. What can what can you do right now? A, B, and C to work you to X, Y, and Z, which is the house. How are you gonna plan ahead, work this up, break this into little pieces? So right now, and if, because you don't have you don't have housing, you might want to go out here and you might want to. One one goal might be to see where all the housing resources are, where you might send people to housing or refer people out to housing, 
and, and write it and you break that up into little pieces until you get that accomplished right exactly so i mean that is really the crux of developing strategies for your social impact business take the time to plan remember we always say you got to plan to plan to plan some more that's literally what this industry is about i'm sorry but it really is it's all about the planning at some point you have to execute but you have to have a plan first so take the time to plan out the process and the stages of development towards the, um, the solution to the problem. Okay, until next time, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>